What's up YouTube? I believe this is Super Bowl Sunday. It's about 60 degrees right here in eastern Kentucky. And every time I get good weather like this, I like to get out here and pressure wash my dog kennels. I try to keep them clean. It gets nasty and sloppy out and you can only clean so much. And then when you get a good warm day when everything's unthawed, you can get out here and get them cleaned up. I like to take the dog houses and everything out of the kennels and get them good and clean. And as you notice, none of the dogs are in here. I don't want to scare them with the pressure washer. I don't have any dogs living in these two kennels here. You can always take the divider out to make it one kennel. Molly lives over there. Right there is May and Ranger's on the end. Let me show you this pressure washer I use. It's the only reason I bought this thing is to spray out dog kennels. Of course it does come in handy sometimes cleaning your truck and side by side but this right here is just an electric green works pressure washer it says it has 2300 psi and it's more than enough to do this kennel here i've just got everything out of the kennels got the dog houses out i don't never take ranger's dog house out because it's actually sitting on dirt where i ran out of these mats i like to put these bricks in make a big gap Make it easy to spray all this little stuff out of the kennels and get them good and clean. I would leave these bricks under here, but I'm afraid that the weight of all these kennels stuck together will bend these tubes and I don't want to replace kennels no more than I have to. So let's break out the pressure washer and get this clean. If you guys ain't never used a pressure washer before or an electric one, all you do is plug in your water hose right here, take your electric cord, plug it in the wall, Turn it on, it's ready to go. If you want to put soap in it, you put it back in here in this tank. Well, after about 45 minutes and a coffee break, I finally got these floors sprayed out. I'm gonna get the dog houses and move them back in here, get them leveled out, and I'll show you how I do that. You can see the door of the dog house, how it's in, and I'm afraid a little rain will get in there. All you gotta do is take a couple of these bricks. I like to move them around to make sure I get it good and leveled where it don't shake so bad. Or here's what I use in the winter time. I already made a video about these bowls. Your water will not freeze in there. It's one of the best things to have in the winter. Now Ranger is a slender built dog. He sees me over here with feed, he won't shut up now. I like to keep him on a feeder so he can eat all he wants. He can't put no weight on, he's just built that way. I think Harlan's built that way, but May and Molly over here, I have to make sure to feed them every day by hand because they will blimp up and get really fat. So every dog's different just like people are. I'm gonna go out here and get the dogs and go ahead and let you see them all. This right here is my old male dog ranger. You guys have seen him in a lot of videos I'm sure. He has treated a lot of coons. He has been a lot of fun. Now I just bred him to a dog I'm getting ready to show you named May. She's in a lot of my videos too. His treats are in there, his bones, he's excited, get in there. This right here is a female I just bred the ranger. She does a really, really good job. What is it? You excited? Sit still. Sit still. You excited? <laughs> but she's been bred for about 30 days now, so she's already a big thick dog. And Time will tell if she's gonna have pups or not. I'm gonna go back here and get Molly. Now this old fat girl right here is Molly. <coughs> Ranger, come on. <coughs> she's a litter mate to Ranger and the mother of Harlan, I'm gonna show you him. He spends most of his time out back and uh, in the house. But you've seen May, I bred her to Ranger here. Hopefully they have pups. She's been bred about 30 days. This right here is the mother of Harlan. Her name was Molly. And she has treated a lot of coons here on the Kentucky Cooner. 
YouTube channel. I'm going to put her up. I'll take and show you Harlan. Out back in the big fence I built. Cool. Went ahead and got some water. Fill up his water bowl back here. He spends most of his time back here and inside the house. There he is. He's out of Molly that I just showed you and Mojo Mason. My wife keeps him out here in this big lot to use the bathroom and he spends most of his time on the couch. I just wanted to show you guys how I got my dog kennels clean out here. I'm gonna fill Harlan's water bowl up. I'm hungry, I ain't had no breakfast. I'm gonna get in the house. Y'all thanks for watching. Until next time, put them on the wood.